Okay, City of Sydney staff and council have a vision of Sydney as one of the great global cities of the world. We know that great cities have a dynamic cultural life. So the first uh, cultural policy was adopted last year. So the cultural policy and action plan sets out the strategic priorities to unlock the creative potential of the city and the creative communities that live here to help others do what they do best, innovate and create. So the policy makes a range of recommendations and actions regarding provision of space for creative and cultural use. We know that artists living and working in the heart of the city is key to a thriving cultural ecosystem. As a property owner, we already had a range of programs in place which do offer access to city-owned properties in the local government area. So an accommodation grants program, our Oxford Street Creative Spaces program, short-term empty properties and the William Street Creative Hub. The William Street Creative Hub is made up a mix of commercial and subsidised creative businesses and organisations. So Object Australian Design Centre is a ground level, Hub Sydney is a commercial co-working space on levels one and two, and the Wish Shared Tenancy on level three is made up of Romance Was Born, Aileen Sage Architects, who have just been awarded the design of the Australian Pavilion at the Venice Biennale in 2016, and other enterprises. That's the building I'm talking about. So, um, also down in the basement level is the magazine club and nestled in above object is the apartment block which is the focus of my talk today. So we know that Sydney is an expensive place to live. We recognise the challenges that artists face in finding affordable inner city housing. So the action plan commits the city to a range of initiatives to advocate for affordable housing for artists and creative workers. But we've also been able to have some quick wins and lead by example in making our own property portfolio serve the needs of the community in this way. So the Creative Live Work Space, um, space program is our first program to offer affordable housing for artists. So we've got six one-bedroom apartments in a 1928 building. It's the next slide. Head myself. So they've been cleaned up um, and offered. they were offered out in May 2014. Our maintenance contractors made the very um, simple mistake of fitting out the studios with um, light, almost white coloured carpet, which was perfect for the artist's studio. So that was, that was one of the things we learned along the way. <laughs> this is it here. So artists, um, uh, sorry, uh, they're, they're offered at below market rental for a period of a one year residency. So the theory is paying less rent to live by yourself should enable an artist to focus less on the secondary employment um, and turn art making into a day job. Perhaps. Um, proximity to the city centre and the rich sort of theme of, artists, uh, of arts and cultural organisations should also benefit the tenants. Artists have applied through an expression of interest process. So they were selected by a panel of assessors across different art forms and representatives from the City of Sydney. They were selected based on their current practice and also their trajectory, so their plans for the year ahead. We're looking for people for whom getting access to this space at this time in their practice could make a big difference to them. So the first round of tenants came from a range of art forms. Lauren Sullivan's a video maker working with surveillance art. Linda Demont was undertaking an augment, augmented reality project. There was curator Sophie Kitson, painter Amber Boardman, ceramicist Ramesh Mario Nithyendran, and one creative couple, uh, visual artist Peter Nelson, sound artist, artist Monica Brooks. So the city manages the Live Work program through a creative tenancy management service. So that's contracted to GAFA and Kelly Robson delivers that program for us. So GAFA manages the, ex the application process and also manages the relationships with the tenants. They work with the artists to develop creative agreements. So that, that is looking, for, looking at their goals for the year and how GAFA can help them leverage their own networks and the resources of the city to support these artists in their practice. This, so this might be things like connecting them up with media and promotional opportunities, getting access to exhibition space or introductions to wider networks. So the city's own expectations are really that the artists will be good ambassadors for the city and, and the program by doing what they do really well. So it's not about them creating additional projects or public outcomes, it just means delivering on the goals that they determine for themselves. So the first year has... Um, seemed very positive for the artists. We're very proud of um, Ramesh. She's won several awards this year. Amber um, showed her first body of work. Um, she was 
recognised by Chalk Horse Gallery, who were in the neighbourhood, um, and offered her her first solo show. So things like that. After the first year, um, the kinds of things we're hearing from the artists are that access to space right in the city centre has been invaluable. It's quicker to travel, it's easier to get to more exhibition openings and events. Um, other organisations and galleries are close by, so their networks are growing. The opportunity to live by themselves rather than paying more in a share house situation allowed them more freedom in their practice than they might have had. And the networks which have opened up through connecting with other tenants or through the gaffer introductions have also been valued. So the city does have commitments to make more residential property available for live work artist housing. Um, there is one property that we have targeted which has got another 14 apartments in them. Unfortunately they need so much work that the capital work schedule has pu pushed that out to 2017-18 so it's a bit, it's a few years away. But um, we've got a current round of um, tenants have commenced in May this year so again they've got a 12 month tenancy. There are two creative couples um, Alice Grundy and David Henley, Carl Mason and Epiphany Morgan, and then performance artist Francis Barrett, who's just come out of her own Marina Abramovich residency, music maker and curator Angela Garrick, who's got a show coming up at Underbelly, a theatre production designer Elizabeth Gadsby, and a visual artist Kate Scarterfield. That's it. <laughs>